No more questions at this time, Your Honor. Mr. Miller. Objection. Your Honor, objection. All right, Mr. Miller. That'll be sufficient. Mr. Wheeler, you are magnificent. You are, you are my hero. Andrew is right. You are the greatest. Are you gay? Objection. <laughs> How dare you? Witness will kindly answer. No, I am not a homosexual. Isn't it true that when you realized Andrew Beckett, your golden boy, your future senior partner, was gay and had AIDS, it drove a stake of fear right through your heterosexual heart? Remembering all the hugs and the handshakes, the intimate moments in the sauna, the friendly pats on the backside that you and Andrew exchanged, like guys exchange sometimes, it made you say, my God, what does this say about me? Objection, Your Honor. The witness will please respond to the question. Mr. Miller, you may tap dance around me all you wish with your innuendos and locker room fantasies, but the truth still remains that your client worked when he wanted to work, telling us what he thought we needed to know about who he really was. And he insisted on bending the rules, and his work suffered tremendously in the long run as a result of that. Will you explain this to me like I'm a six-year-old, Mr. Wheeler, because I just don't get it. Who makes these rules that you're talking about, huh? You? Read your Bible, Mr. Miller. Old and the New Testament. Pretty valuable rules in there. Excuse me. Andrew? Excuse me. I can't see. Excuse me. Christ's sake, somebody get a doctor. Please. Right away. Yes. Yeah. Ambulance, please. Right away. Yes. Ambulance, please. 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 Ambul